Digitize yourself, hackers hijack torrent clients, fusion reactor breakthrough, and more Windows 10 crap to push you back to Windows 7. These are today's bits. A new process is in development that aims to allow anybody to digitally recreate themselves in a form of a 3D avatar. The best part is, is they want this to work with any regular old smartphone by taking multiple photos from multiple angles. With the rise of virtual reality and more advanced games, it's easy to see a potentially large market for this type of thing. So far, it still has some work to be done, and it has a few limitations. For example, it can't create models of the person's eyes or inside the mouth. But with more development, I'm sure that we will start seeing real models of people running around in the latest video games. Do I see a World of Warcraft patch? Hackers have learned a way to hijack your torrent client and use it for their evil deeds. Affecting multiple clients like uTorrent and BT Sync and more, they can effectively use your computer to help them attack other computers. A distributed denial of service attack, or otherwise known as a DDoS, is where someone throws an enormous amount of traffic at a target and attempt to overload it and thus take it down. With this new exploit, hackers could take advantage of millions of computers and take down, well, just about anything they want with that kind of manpower behind it. Don't worry though, at this point, it's the researchers who found this issue, and many torrent clients are already working on a patch. Fusion power has been something of a fantasy for everyone for a while now. Its promise of a vast amount of clean energy is nothing short of attractive. But the dream of achieving this has just been that, a dream. Well, that hasn't changed much. I mean, it's still a big dream. But now a team from MIT has found a way to use a new type of superconductor to not only reduce the size of the reactor, but to also dramatically increase its power output. This has been the biggest issue with fusion power. It takes more energy to run the thing than it actually produces. Now maybe, just maybe, we might be on the edge of a new power source that can save us from ourselves. Maybe. Make sure to check out the description to learn more. Okay, I have to admit something. For a long time, I've been pretty excited about Windows 10. I'm an avid Windows user and I enjoy new things. Windows 8 for me looked amazing, but completely sucked because it was forcing users into that whole Metro crap. So when Windows 10 decided to come out, I was really excited to see the style that I loved and something a little bit more familiar. Well, my attitude has changed. With all the privacy issues floating around, I've decided to hold off on upgrading my main rig. While I would love to test out Plex and see how well it runs, and see if it crashes, etc. in my new system, I absolutely refuse to let Microsoft collect information on me to sell to the highest bidder. I have enough ads in my life, I don't need any more. The changes that I highlighted in my previous video about how to regain some of your privacy on Windows 10, which I will link right here, seem to do some good and almost pushed me into upgrading. But the latest news has me a little worried. Now it seems that even if you make the changes and you restrict what Microsoft is supposed to collect about you, Windows 10 still dials home and sends information. I will link in the description so you can read more, but as it stands right now, I personally feel like Microsoft is asking too much in return for their free upgrade. I would much rather pay the $200 upgrade fee and get an operating system that didn't insist on tracking everything that I do. Then, to rub salt in the wound, a patch was released by Microsoft that was forced to its users through their new policy of people not being able to control their updates that sent their computers into an infinite loop. By design, when Windows 10 encounters an error during a patch, it uninstalls that patch and then reboots. But since users are forced to install updates, it would just try again and again and then reboot again and again. Now this loop hasn't affected everyone and it seems to be reliant on a few different factors on people's computers. But if Microsoft hadn't fired all of their testing team, maybe this sort of thing wouldn't have happened in the first place. Or better yet, if they hadn't decided to take control of everybody's computers and force them into upgrades, we wouldn't even have this problem at all. Go Microsoft. A couple of bonus items today include a new pair of glasses that help people avoid being hit with facial recognition cameras, and a crazy new SSD from Samsung that has a capacity of 16 terabytes. Even though the thing costs like five grand, I still want one, or three. If you like this video, then make sure to click the like and subscribe button below, and thanks for watching.